and today I'm going to show you how to make banana pudding. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is make the vanilla wafers. Now the recipe that I have in my cookbook makes about five dozen and we only need about 16. So I'm going to cut that recipe in half. Uh, probably could cut it in one third, but I want to be on the safe side so a little extra is fine. So I'm going to make half a vegan egg. So I'm going to take a half a teaspoon of psyllium husk and I'm going to add two tablespoons of water. Let that sit for a minute. And then I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And about a quarter cup of vegan butter. And a quarter cup of sugar. And cream that all together. And then I'm going to add the dry ingredients. So I'm going to add a third of a cup of brown rice flour, a third of a cup of millet flour, a third of a cup of tapioca flour, and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And mix that all up. And then I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap and chill for about 30 minutes. Now we have the chilled dough out of the fridge and I have a baking sheet covered with parchment paper. And I'm gonna take just small bits of the cookie dough and roll little balls with my hands and just press them down into approximately one inch discs on the baking sheet. Maybe a little, a little more than an inch is fine. And leave enough room for them to spread. They'll spread uh, a bit. And we have three dozen from this batch. So that's plenty more than we need. And I'm gonna bake these at 375 for around 13 minutes, 13 to 15 minutes. We just wanna bake them until the edge is brown and then we'll come back. And here are the final baked cookies. So you can see they're nice and browned around the edges. And then we're just gonna let them cool and go on to the next step. The next step is the vanilla pudding. So I've got two cans of coconut milk that have been chilled for a few days and I'm gonna scoop out the thick cream from the top, put them in a saucepan. And then I'm gonna add a half a cup of sugar and a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and just a pinch of turmeric to give it some color. And then I'm also gonna take a quarter cup of kuzu, and then I'm going to add to that a cup of vegan milk, And you want to make sure that that's nicely dissolved in there, so I'm going to set that aside and mix it up to make sure that it's dissolved in milk. Meantime, we're going to heat up our coconut milk mixture. We want everything to melt together and then uh, bring, bring everything to a boil. So once it starts really boiling like this, we're going to turn the heat down and add the kuzu mixture. And then just whisk that in. And eventually the liquid will start to thicken. And once it thickens up, then uh, just continue cooking and whisking it for another couple minutes. And then turn the heat off and just let it cool a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely cooled, but just a little bit. Next, we're going to slice some bananas. Um, I suggest either two large bananas or I have three sort of medium ones here. And uh, so I'm just going to slice them into thin slices. And 
and now we're ready to start assembling everything. Now I have an eight by eight inch pan. We have our sliced bananas, our vanilla wafers, and our vanilla pudding. Uh, so just give the pudding another good stir. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And then we're gonna start with a layer of cookies on the bottom. Now you can do a couple of layers of cookies if you want. Um, just depends how much of the cookie texture you want in there. But these should pretty much fill it if we do four by four of the cookies. And then we want to put about half of the pudding on top of the cookies. And spread it out so it completely covers them. And then we want to take half the bananas and layer them on top. And then take half of the remaining pudding and spoon it on top of the bananas. And then put the remaining bananas on top of that. And then spread the remaining pudding on top of everything. And then we're gonna bake this for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. And it's now out of the oven and we just need to let this cool and then we're gonna chill it until it's completely chilled and we can apply our final layer, which is the coconut whipped cream. While we're waiting for the banana pudding to cool, um, we can make the whipped cream. So I'm just gonna take my can of coconut milk that's been chilled uh, for a few days and open it and scoop out the cream from the top. Now, sometimes, just depending on the brand, sometimes the cream is nice and soft and creamy and sometimes it gets really hard. So this particular time it's pretty hard. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the liquid back just to try to get it a little bit creamier. And so I'm gonna cream it first with a fork just to soften it. And then I'm gonna beat it with a hand mixer. So I just wanna go until it's nice and thick and creamy. And then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and three tablespoons of powdered sugar. You can add anywhere from two to three, just depending on how sweet you want it. And continue beating until it's nice and smooth again. And then I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it chill until we're ready to top the banana banana pudding with this. Now we have the pudding which is cooled and we have our chilled coconut whipped cream and so we're just going to top the pudding with the whipped cream and then spread it over the top. And then we're going to put this back in the fridge uh, for several more hours just so everything firms up and then it will be ready to serve. And here we have the final chilled banana pudding. And here you can see what it looks like on the inside. Thanks everybody for watching and please try it yourself at home and enjoy.